Meghan Markle didn't have a bad childhood growing up actually, despite her parents' divorce, she was extremely loved by both of them. But the way she was raised due to her father's intense job meant she was spending half of her life on a Hollywood set rather than playing in the backyard on a swing set, the way most kids did. And based on the way Archie has been raised so far, it's clear Meghan doesn't want her child growing up the way she did. Meghan spent more time on a Hollywood set than most young kids ever would. When Meghan was growing up in California, she didn't spend her time playing in the backyard. Instead, she was on a Hollywood set, spending time with her father while he was the lighting director of the once popular television show Married. With children. Meghan would join her father on set after school, which is how they bonded. She loved watching him film certain scenes, but recalls not being allowed to watch others. There were a lot of times my dad would say, Meg, why don't you go and help with the craft services room over there? This is just a little off color for your 11 year old eyes, Megan told Esquire back in 2013. Her parents divorced when she was six, so she never got to experience a loving family. In addition to being raised on a Hollywood set, Megan never truly experienced the love that was once shared between her parents. Doria Ragland and Thomas Markle, who had met on a Hollywood set, divorced when Megan was six. For as long as Meghan can remember, she's come from a broken family. Though, her parents reportedly split very amicably and co-parented her well. Her sister, Samantha Markle, once suggested that she liked having divorced parents because she got whatever she wanted materially. Though Meghan likely would have preferred to come from a home with two in love parents. She and Prince Harry have already done their best to keep Archie from a life in the spotlight. Meghan and Prince Harry were each exposed to fame in their own way. Harry was raised in one of the world's most well-known families, while Meghan's upbringing and acting career showed her the ins and outs of Hollywood and what it's really like to be a star. But they both are already doing their best to prevent Archie from being exposed to the limelight the way they were. They moved to Frogmore Cottage at Windsor Castle with the hope of living a more private life. They also chose not to give Archie a royal title and have reportedly decided not to hire a nanny for the baby. However, reports suggest that Meghan did hire a nanny who then quit. The couple appears to be trying to live as normal a life for themselves as possible. Not only do Meghan and Harry want Archie to live a normal life, but it seems that they want to live one, too. For Meghan, growing up in Hollywood gave her something other than a normal childhood. And Harry knows better than anyone how difficult it can be to grow up in the public eye. It seems neither of them want Archie to be raised the same way they were, and both of them want the privacy they didn't always have growing up. The couple didn't introduce Archie to the world right away, and he's only made one appearance his feed on Instagram since. It seems they'll be doing things a bit differently than other royals to ensure he's given every opportunity to live a normal life.